My name is Chris Mitchell, and I'll be giving you an overview of our new data security product. Data security is a new offering that for our existing SaaS API customers now includes the full enterprise DLP product and is fully integrated with SaaS API. If you're an existing, existing SaaS API or formerly known as Aperture uh, customer and you did not purchase enterprise DLP, the good news is that all customers will now have access to enterprise DLP with SaaS API at no charge until the end of your contracted term. So in this video, I'll be demonstrating the benefits of enterprise DLP and how the added functionality will bring more value to SaaS API. So let's start with what you have today. If you look in your SaaS API console under settings and data patterns, you'll see the about 47 built-in data patterns that you are able to utilize in SaaS API to find sensitive data. You also had about 25 data profiles built in that could also be utilized to find sensitive data. With these patterns and profiles, customers could do basic data loss prevention scans uh, for data at rest at their SaaS applications. Most customers, however, eventually need more robust DLP capabilities than what was previously offered by SaaS API. That made for additional purchases and a more complex commercial process for adding enterprise DLP after the fact. So to make this process smoother for our customers, we have deprecated all of the previous versions of SaaS API with DLP. So you may have heard the terms classic or standard uh, and in favor of the enterprise DLP product. Um, we've also introduced a much improved uh, user interface for data security that is fully integrated with the Palo Alto Networks Cloud Management Console. For this demonstration, we'll be using the new Cloud Management Console. So now let's go to the Cloud Manager Management Console and go over the new features in Enterprise DLP. First off, uh, this is the new Cloud Management Console that your tenant will be upgraded to in the next few months. Going forward, CASB, DLP, ADEM, Prisma Access will all be managed from this one central location. Now, don't worry if you're uh, currently managing Prisma Access from Panorama, that's still going to be fully supported. So in the Cloud Management Console on the left, if we go to Security Services and then SaaS Security, then select Data Security here at the top, this is the new console for the API CASB. You'll also notice under security services on the left, there's data loss prevention as well. This will be where you will create your custom data patterns or profiles and uh, enable uh, more advanced features of enterprise DLP, such as optical character recognition and configuring exact data matching. So let's explore the DLP console first and see how those new features work. So if we go to security services and data loss prevention, you'll default to the data profile screen. This is where the built-in data profiles are listed and where you can now create custom data profiles. So let's look at the different types of data profiles you can create. To the left, if we click on Add Data Profile, you'll then be asked to select a data profile type. You can have a data profile with just data patterns. You can have uh, ones with exact data matching profiles or a combination of exact data matching and data patterns, as well as nested data profiles. So for this demo, we're going to explore data patterns only for now. So we'll click on with the data patterns only and explore what we can do. So on this screen, you'll name the data profile and then add a primary rule. You'll uh, see that you have the ability to create secondary rule as well, which is optional. The secondary rule is there to give you broader options if you have more complex uh, data profile that you're needing, uh, and the secondary rules are also used in the inline versions of Enterprise DLP for our next generation firewalls and Prisma Access. So we'll click on Add Data Pattern Group, and then you'll notice that where you can add data patterns. And so when I click on the little down box, you'll see the different data patterns that are available, or I can simply start typing, if I can spell it right, and you can search that way. So I'm going to pick driver's license US. We can also pick the number of occurrences that you're looking for in a given uh, profile. So any occurrences less than or equal to between. So I'm just going to pick more than equal to. We can put in a count there. So I'm going to say 10. And you can also pick whether you are looking for high confidence uh, incidents or low confidence incidents. So really how to read this is I'm looking for more than or equal to 10 driver's license U.S. with a high confidence uh, data uh, detection method. 
I can also add additional data patterns and include Boolean logic. So you can see here, I can add another pattern, I can and it, I can or it, and not, or not, and I can continue to add those data patterns uh, as much as I need to be able to um, uh, find the different data that I'm looking for. Um, as you can see, you can create very flexible data patterns. We can also add additional data pattern groups, and you can and, or, and not, or, or not as well. So this is how you would create a custom data pattern, I'm sorry, a custom data profile uh, within the Enterprise DLP console. Now I'm gonna cancel out of this and uh, go over to detection methods. Um, the DLP rules section here is really used for the inline DLP version. Um, so it's not applicable to uh, data security. So we'll move on to the detection methods. So we'll click on the uh, different detection methods, and first we'll start off with data patterns. And this is really one of the bulk, uh, where the bulk of the enterprise DLP product value comes into play, because you'll notice here that now you have over a thousand data patterns uh, that you can choose from, as well as being able to create your own custom data patterns uh, within the product. So you can search for proprietary information, uh, things that are just specific to you, where you don't necessarily have to use the built-in profiles uh, that are available. You're also able to create file property profiles, and those can be used for things such as uh, classification tags and being able to uh, build uh, patterns for DLP to search for those uh, classification tags in file properties. So if we click on add data pattern, you'll see custom and file property. So we'll click on custom here. And you can see here that uh, we can go in here, you can build regular names and, and descriptions, but you're basically creating regular expressions uh, to uh, find your particular uh, data pattern that you're looking for, as well as adding proximity keywords if you want to do a combination of patterns and proximity keywords. So we'll move on to the next detection method, which, which is exact data matching. This is where you're gonna create exact data match profiles. Now, if you're not uh, familiar with exact data match, exact data matching is typically used uh, to find structured data sets like from a database or some sort of other structured data set. Um, and so what we can do here is uh, part of the process for creating those profiles is you would download the uh, uh, EDM tool, our little client utility, right? The next step would be then to uh, install that and have your data set ready. The data sets can be in CSV formats. That's the typical way we would, we would look at things. Uh, you would uh, follow the instructions that are included with the EDM tool. The EDM tool would then hash and upload the data set to your uh, uh, particular DLP tenant. And then you from that, you can see here, you'll have uh, uh, EDM profiles out of that data set that can be used you know, by themselves as an EDM profile or in conjunction with other data patterns uh, to find the data uh, that you're looking for. The last detection method we'll look at is optical character recognition. And frankly, there's really nothing to do here uh, other than enable optical character recognition uh, for Prisma SAS. So once you flip the little switch there, uh, optical character recognition will be enabled. And then once that's enabled, any image file uh, that's supported will be evaluated on any uh, patterns or profiles that you have defined uh, in data security for scans or for policy. Now, more information on all these features can be uh, found in the Enterprise DLP Administrator's Guide on docs.paloaltonetworks.com. Now, really, the only other thing uh, that I want to cover in this particular console that's applicable to data security is the audit log. Audit logs are where uh, the uh, uh, administrator logs are stored for administrative actions. So within here, you can look at all the events uh, performed by DLP administrators in the DLP console. So now, how do we use these new e, uh, enterprise DLP features in data security? Well, that's a great question. So let's move over to the data security console. So if you notice here, the stars beside uh, the different uh, uh, selections here on the left-hand side, you can click that star and then that becomes a favorite. And then those will uh, appear at the top of the left-hand uh, menu uh, here under overview. 
So it makes it easier for you to get quickly navigate the different sections of, uh, of the console that you're interested in doing. So we've clicked on SaaS security and we'll go to data security. And then you'll see the data uh, security dashboard. Now I won't go into a lot of details of the new console with respect to uh, uh, data security and, and API, uh, but I do encourage you to explore the console once your tenant is converted. Now to use enterprise DLP uh, in data security, there are two things you can do. You can enable data profiles for data rest scanning and utilize those patterns and profiles and policy. For data rest scanning, you simply go to the top and look under settings, uh, scan and data, and then choose data profiles. Now, all the data profiles that are built in and that you saw on the DLP console, as well as any custom data profiles that you create, will be listed here. So to enable these, you simply check the boxes beside the profiles you want. You go to Actions and click Enable. Once those are enabled, then they will be used uh, for scanning data at rest in the different SaaS applications uh, that are uh, onboarded into uh, CASB. So the other place that you can use the uh, data profiles and data patterns is back in the data security profiles. So if we go back to the data security database uh, pro, uh, dashboard, and then we go to policies, you can see here, this is a listing of all the policies uh, that have been configured for your CASB. Now, some of these are built in, some of these are custom. Uh, obviously you can uh, build these by clicking on the add policy button here on the uh, top right of the screen. Now, in these data asset policies, we're essentially looking for match criteria. And one of the match criteria are data patterns and data profiles. You can check this box next to data patterns and data profiles as a part of your uh, uh, policy. And then you can pick, again, the different uh, data patterns or data profiles you would like to use. You can select whether they include or exclude. You can, again, see all the listings of all the data patterns. Uh, that you saw in the Enterprise DLP console, the built-in as well as any custom data patterns that you create. Uh, you can also, again, select the confidence levels and the occurrences. You can also select data profiles. Now, for data profiles within a policy, you're only allowed one data profile per policy. And we actually encourage you to use the data profiles within data security as opposed to the data patterns, since you can do a much more complex uh, uh, data profile as well as being very, very flexible in what uh, you're looking for with respect to those uh, sensitive data that you're exploring within uh, your different SaaS applications. Now, obviously, you would use those data patterns and profiles in conjunction with other uh, match criteria within the policies. But once you uh, create your policy, then that's it. You're good to go. And so uh, there it is. That's what uh, is included in, in uh, Enterprise DLP at a very high level, right? This was a sort of a brief demonstration on uh, what you ex can expect to see once Enterprise DLP is enabled uh, for your uh, SaaS API tenant. So I encourage you uh, to, again, to explore the consoles, explore the different features and functionalities, as well as review the documentation. Uh, and again, that's on our documentation site at docs.paloaltonetworks.com. So I hope you found this video informative about the new features uh, that are included in data security. And as always, if you have any questions or anything uh, related to this, you can always reach out to your account team and they can help you uh, 